Welcome to my channel, let's get crafting. The supplies we're gonna be using for our project are these stacking blocks from the Dollar Tree, this leftover canvas that I pulled off of a canvas frame, this wood block also from the Dollar Tree. They just started carrying these and I love them. And then this old post that came off of a stair railing. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut off the bottom wood piece that is creating a little bit of a bump that we don't want to be there. And we're also gonna cut down the top of it so that it's nice and flat so we can create an Uncle Sam 4th of July themed decor. This is gonna be so cute. The inspiration actually came from online. I saw it on Pinterest and I just thought, this is so cute, I wanna show you all how to make it my own take on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that wood block that they have at the Dollar Tree. They carry these in a couple different shapes and we're gonna be using this bracket block and we're gonna just drill a hole right in the center of it and then once you've got that, you're gonna to wanna to create a little bit of a sinkhole. So we're gonna just widen that very top part just enough so that when we go ahead and screw it together, it's gonna to allow the very bottom base of this to be flat. You want the screw to be able to sink down inside. So now we're going to go ahead and connect them together. I'm just going to add some hot glue to the bottom to hold that wood block on while I screw the screw in it and to make everything be nice and secure and snug. So here I am, you're gonna see it's gonna sink all the way down in there so it's nice and flat on the bottom. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take some painter's tape. I'm gonna cut it down just a little bit so it has a smaller strip there versus the whole wide thing. I wanna see more red on the front because again, I'm going off of my inspiration that I saw on Pinterest. And I'm even gonna link that inspiration down below so you all can see my version and their version and how to do all these steps. So we're going to go ahead and on the bottom part we're going to add some red paint all over it and we're going to even go into the base. So the base and the bottom part of it is going to be all red. Just add a nice coat to it and once it's all dry we're going to go ahead and then remove that painter's tape to reveal that white stripe down the middle of it. Now I'm also going to come up around the top of this curve just to make sure that it looks all nice and cohesive and painted well. So here you go, you can see the strip and it just looks so cute with that white stripe detail on there. I just love the way it looks so much. And then I went over it with two coats of red paint. Now I don't know if you heard, but I'm doing this series here throughout June and July on my channel called The Summer DIY Daily where I'm posting Monday through Friday and I'm spotlighting a channel who deserves a shout out and some love. This is the Crafting Cousins times two, and their names are Kay and Trish. They are the cutest cousins ever, and they craft, and they have their own channel here on YouTube. I found them a couple months back, and I just think that they are so sweet, and they make the cutest things. Let's help them get to a 1,000. They are the channel I'm spotlighting for today. Will you go over and watch their video that is linked down below in the description box for me? Now while that's drying, I'm gonna move on to the head of Uncle Sam. I'm gonna be gluing four blocks together on their sides, and I'm gonna do that four times because we're gonna be able to create his whole head with this. So you can see that I've got four and four, and now I'm gonna glue those together at the top and the bottom, and then I'm gonna repeat that again so that way it's nice and thick. So I've got the four and the four, so a total of eight on the back side, and then I'm gonna do it again and create another eight on the other side, and these are gonna be sandwiched together like two pieces of bread. Now I realized after I did it the first one, it's better to add a little glue on the side and the top, so that way everything goes nice and smooth together versus having weird bumps from things not aligning properly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sandwich them together with some glue, and this is gonna create a very nice shaped face at the top of our cute post. Then once we've got his face all sandwiched together, we're gonna go ahead and move on to his hat, which is also really easy. I forgot to mention as well, I'm only using one box of these stacking blocks that you can get from the Dollar Tree. One was sufficient for all of this top upper part. So now I'm gonna take three and I'm going to glue them together 
on their wider side and I'm going to lay them down on the top as you can see here I've got three on one side and three on the other side to create the hat and you're just going to make sure it's positioned in place and everything is going to line up properly and then go ahead and add some more hot glue to keep it all nice and snug together. You could technically add wood glue if you really want it to be nice and secure but I think this hot glue is doing a great job in itself. So now that we've got his head and we've got his top part of his brim of his hat now we're going to do the very top and I'm going to take seven pieces and I'm going to just glue those all together and then I'm going to add them up at the top so that way it creates the very tall hat now we're going to go ahead and paint the very top of his hat red and to continue with that stripe pattern that we had at the bottom of his post we're going to go ahead and create a white stripe right up the center and then we're going to wrap around the back with the red going up onto the top and making sure it's covered really nicely and again i added two coats of the red paint because i wanted to make sure it was really nice and bright and standing out then I'm going to take some American blue and I'm going to go around the rim of his hat and I'm going to just make sure I cover that on the top, on the bottom, on the side, making sure I've got all those spots nice and covered so it looks nice and store bought. And after I've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and just move on to adding the blue back to the post because I already have the blue out and I always like to try to be efficient with my paint so things don't dry up on me. So I'm now adding my blue now that the red is dry on the post and I'm just gonna add on two coats of that blue paint. I just love, love this red and this white together. It is so pretty all coming together, looking so patriotic, it makes me so happy. Then on the face I added some cream and I'm gonna add just two little tiny dots for his eyes. I thought that this was really sweet, just these tiny little itty bitty eyes. And then, this is the next cool part. That canvas that we had earlier, friends, hold on to those kind of supplies because you just never know when you can use them again. We're gonna use them in just a second to create his little goatee and his eyebrows. I also ended up adding some stars on that I had on hand. You can pick these up at any craft store. But I have four stars that I've decided to add three down his tummy and I'm going to add one up on his hat just to add a little bit more flair. The original inspiration had it where they were actually painted on the tummy of the post. But I decided to add my stars because I wanted them to pop up just a little bit more and I had them on hand. So here I am at this point. I'm just going to sand down a little bit. You can skip this part. I know some of you are not so shabby farmhouse and that's totally okay. If you like it to be more clean and polished, more traditional, that works too. So just skip the sanding part if it's not for you and then go ahead and glue on your stars or paint them on whichever one you prefer and then just make sure there's a nice amount of glue on there so that way they're really nice and secure. And then for added support, I don't want these to pop off. I'm adding with a staple gun a little staple on each one of the stars so it's really on there nice and tight and then I'm just going to cover up those staples with my my white paint that I had earlier. Now I'm going to do the same thing to his hat and I'm going to make sure that I add a cute little star up there and then now I can start assembling his little head onto the post. So at this point I really want it to stay on because I don't really have a screw or staple option so I did add some wood glue and some hot glue for that long term short term hold. Now we're going to take that canvas like I mentioned earlier and we're going to cut out the shape of a bird's wing and we're going to reverse that pattern and then the bottom part of his goatee is going to look like a chubby raindrop and you're going to just turn it upside down so that you have these two bird wings and the chubby water drop at the bottom. And then I doubled them up on fabric so they were nice and thick when they're on there. It's gonna stay on there nice and solid and not bend or have any issues in the weather. And then for the eyebrows, I just added little jelly bean shaped eyebrows. <laughs> I thought that was the easiest way to explain that they're in the shape of a jelly bean. And you're gonna need two of those for his eyebrows. Now we're gonna add a bow on to add that cute added touch as if this little guy is not cute enough. We're gonna add in a gingham red bow or buffalo check, whichever you'd like to call it. 
and I picked up that ribbon around Valentine's Day from the Dollar Tree. They do carry ribbon like that during seasonal times at the stores. And now to finish off the look, I'm going to just distress a little bit of the white in his goatee and I'm going to add a little nose by snipping a small piece of a popsicle stick and just rounding it the best I could to add it on for his little bitty nose. For all of my friends returning, thanks so much for coming back to watch this video. It always means so much to me to catch up with you all in the comments. And if you're new and enjoying what you're seeing, click that subscribe button because I am going to be posting every single day, Monday through Friday, all in the months of June and July for my summer DIY daily. The next DIY is going to be using these supplies, these scarf bandanas that I found from the Dollar Tree. I was so excited when I found these because they are so perfect for what we're going to be making. That tote bag and a pool noodle with some rope. Now we're going to take that pool noodle and we are going to cut it up with three different sizes. One small, one medium, one large. And then we're going to take a scrap and go ahead and fill in the center point so that way it's nice and filled in right there in the middle because we're going to turn these into cute fireworks. And now we're going to also take this tote bag and we are going to cut it so that it's got a neutral fabric in there. And you can see here that I'm cutting off a smaller piece and I'm going to go over the top of it. I've decided that it was best to pull it nice and tight over the top and then I was going to wrap around the bottom and the side with the other fabric, just rolling it up. And you can also see that I did two pieces over the top to make it kind of camouflage that red. You don't want to see that red. Now I did a little fold over at the top so it has a nice clean line. And now I'm just hot gluing and rolling it all up into place, tucking it in at the bottom, and then I'm going to cut down a circle. I'm just going to keep measuring it until it's the right size. And then I'm going to glue that on to give it a nice finished look at the bottom. Now we're going to basically just repeat that same process. Now friends, I want to make a disclaimer. I would never cut an actual flag. This is not an actual American flag. It has the pattern of it. I know that there is a lot of people out there that, that would be feeling very sensitive to this. And I promise you, I am a diehard American. This is just a bandana that it's okay to cut this one but if it were a real, a real American flag no way would I ever do that here on my channel I always look for fabrics that have stripes and stars versus cutting a flag because I just don't feel that that is appropriate <laughs> I think my mom would just lose her mind if she ever saw me do that here on my channel so I hope that you all understand that this is just a bandana and not a flag so that you understand that I am a diehard American. I am very grateful to live here in this country. Okay, so at this point, now that I've said all that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap one of the sizes with the blue stars. I thought that this was so perfect and the fabric was the right size that I needed. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure it's nice and clean and snug all the way around. And then once that one was done, I could move on to the red. Now the red, I wanted to make sure that I wrapped it enough times so that you don't see the red popping through the white. It will want to do that. So just make sure you, you know, work wisely with the, with the red so it doesn't show through. I think it's pretty when the white is crisp and nice and bright. So here I am, I'm wrapping it around and I'm just adding off the finishing touches to the bottom. Now here is the funniest thing. When the Crafting Cousins and I were chatting just a couple days ago about projects, we found out that we were both feeling inspired by this exact same firework project. So the girls over there are doing their own take on this one and they have a different DIY. They've got two that they're gonna be sharing. So make sure you go over and check out their video. At this point, we're gonna bring all of our fireworks together and we're just gonna tie them up with a rope. I thought that would be really cute. And then at the top, I'm just doing a simple knot around my finger cutting it off, hot gluing it, and then adding that to the very top of the firework. I thought that this was such a cute little farmhouse detail. 
And then at the top, I'm gonna go ahead and just fray them so it looks like they have, they're have they ready to go off and be lit for 4th of July. I mean, how cute are these? The total cost was $2, they're super easy to make, and I think they would just be so cute on a table somewhere in your home. Thanks so much for watching this video. Leave a comment down below to let me know which one you liked, which one you'll try, and if you even decorate for 4th of July. I'm always curious to find out what holidays people decorate for. And make sure you go and visit the adorable Trish and Kay. I promise you will adore them. And until the next episode, bye friends.